Ha ha, very funny One Piece. You want me to get back on the One Piece train? That's what y'all want, huh? Within the anime gaming space, people here typically hate on anime games trying to turn into the turn-based formula. I mean, shonen is battle action, so for some, which doesn't make sense to me anymore, one just cheaply made arena fighters with lackluster features that traditional fighting games been had since 2009, or they want some Devil May Cry clone, but with a Goku reskin on top. Alright, that's too mean. That, that's too real for y'all. I'm gonna chill out. I've played every One Piece game that has ever been released in the United States. Even played games like Battle Stadium Dawn and games like Romance Dawn, which was a PSP exclusive. Even though I love One Piece Pirate Warriors, I mean, there are four games, somebody buying them hoes. One Piece Odyssey is the best One Piece game, period. I'm not joking. Welcome to my spoiler free One Piece Odyssey review and early access experience. So far, my review will be based on the first 12 hours of the game, so I don't want to spoil anything, and most of the mechanics and gameplay are revealed and explained early on as well. If you want to stick down for some more guides and information on One Piece Odyssey, or if you're enjoying my review so far, go ahead, hit the like button, and subscribe for more JRPG, anime, and fighting game content. But let's get right into it. The Gameplay of One Piece Odyssey If you want a quick reference to other games, it is a combination of Dragon Quest, Pokemon, Persona 4 or 5, and a whole bunch of other games, but this game has a lot of freedom to how you play it, and letting you play how you want. Essentially, the game lets you have up to four of the Straw Hats on the field at a time. However, you can swap the order anytime to any party member in and out of battle. So no, you don't only play with Luffy, you can play with anyone else anytime you really want to in the game, don't worry about that. There are obvious limitations to this because it can be too easy if you already use a character's turn in battle then you'll just have to wait it out the big thing is that every attack is animated beautifully like look at this I have to be honest, some of these attack animations have to be some of the Bandai's best work from their One Piece game history. In battle, the characters are placed in various different areas across a big square. You can see where everyone is at and grouped here. The game also lets you know which enemies are in specified areas with other members of your current party of four on the field. The first thing I noticed was the game had no difficulty setting and I was completely terrified that the game was going to be too easy. Thing is, easy is very up to the player experience and perspective with JRPGs for me. If I'm not using items, the game is way too easy to me and I was like, uh, I don't know, this might just get too repetitive at this point because it's too easy until I hit the five hour mark. Bro, I was dying and using potions like a madman at this point. I started noticing the difficulty did ramp up a little bit for me, but still not too hard to where I had to completely faint all my characters. Also, have you ever played a Tales of game by Bandai Namco? In One Piece Odyssey, they do that to the T when the battle's over and the character banner starts. That's so friggin' sick. Another cool thing that shows that this game has a lot of love put into it is that the characters react to status alignments. I wasn't really paying attention to it early on because I had it on times to speed for battle, but I will say there's a point where like characters get poisoned and they react to like, ugh, I'm poisoned or this hurt. There's even character specific dialogue when their health is too low. I think that's sick. And lastly in One Piece Odyssey, what makes the battle so fresh and different every time is that each time you do get into a battle, more than likely they'll give you specific conditions to complete said battle with like dramatic actions or dramatic scenes. It forces you to move characters around, switch them in and out, and forces you to learn how to play the game flexibly, and it helps keep the gameplay from being stale simply because you have different conditions that you can beat these enemies or hordes of monsters in a certain condition. Sometimes there's conditions where like, hey, beat all these characters before one of the straw hats die, or move a character here that you probably wouldn't use next to them for the battle. It's so dope. It's, it's a very cool way to make turn-based not feel stale for people that already don't like turn-based. I love turn-based, so that's not a problem for me. Bon Art. You know that cool thing for Persona to All Out Attack? This game has a mechanic very similar to the Persona series All Out Attacks called Bonds. Throughout the game, you will get various Bond Arts that can be used as team synergy-like attacks, and the higher the Bond level, the stronger the Bond Arts you can use will be. So far in the game, I have Zoro, Chopper, and Usopp's, and the way you build the Bond level is by attacking near another character that has Bond Arts. So far in the game, I have Zoro, Chopper, and 
Usopp's and it looks beautiful. And the way you build the bond level is by attacking near another characters that have bond arts or being in the same field as them to raise the level or doing various actions next to like healing or using items as well. Exploration in One Piece Odyssey One Piece Odyssey is not an open world game, but lets you travel in these giant huge open maps and gigantic levels. There are many parts of the game where you will go through caves and very different ruins, dungeon like Pokemon areas pretty much, using various characters to progress. Characters like Chopper can travel through small areas and tight crevices, while Usopp can collect items from high up places. This is good because I was scared the game would literally make me stay on Luffy 24-7 because of his Conqueror's Hockey ability. Conqueror's Hawk the ability in this game lets him search for rare items in the field. I was kind of annoyed by Luffy's ability the most simply because I can't hold the button down like in the Batman Arkham games to keep it on when I don't want to see it anymore. But I digress, I got used to it after a certain point in time. I get it, that's how it works in One Piece, but I think in terms of video game design, they could have probably fixed it for that. Now one thing I do dislike about One Piece Odyssey is that for the first 10 hours of the games, there is no fast travel till you get to Alabasta one of the world fragments in the game, which I won't explain here because this, I ain't doing no spoilers, okay? Once you get to around 12 to 13 hours of the game, you do unlock fast travel, but I was very annoyed because even though the characters do run fast, they ain't running fast enough, okay? It just seems like a placebo effect in my mind and I ain't really going that faster. It's essentially like being in the car and someone telling you, hey, you're going too fast and you only went an extra three miles per hour from 20 to 23. Now, I could go so much deeper into One Piece Odyssey, but I want you guys to try out this game. I generally love everything about the game from the world. The music in this game slaps. I can't believe it. I was I was kind of confused. I was like, this is a One Piece game music? I can't think of no One Piece game OST that I really like. Be honest with you, maybe something in Power Warriors, but I don't know. There's nothing that hit that hard to me in this game. Besides in some parts, the combat being pretty, pretty easy in most scenarios. So far, I do not know if this game has a hard mode or essentially a new game plus mode with like completely damaging out the characters and stuff like that. I know they want to make the game very accessible for One Piece fans as well, or people that don't play turn-based RPGs, because a lot of people are scared to play One Piece Odyssey because it's a turn-based RPG. But I know all y'all have played Persona 5 Royal with 140 plus hours in it. I ain't trying to hear that. Y'all need to try new games, man. Chill out. Play some. You don't need to smack your face across the controller for every fighting game excuse my language that being said if you guys enjoy my one piece odyssey early access experience and early access review please comment down below i love this game so much this game was pretty fun and pretty clean it's your boy avatar yaya make sure you follow me on twitter at avatar yaya underscore to ask me all different types of questions and i want to let you guys know you guys are golden you guys need to subscribe and that is raw squala peace and i'm out Oh, that's it. I've been a devil, I need me a hawk and no water. I'm breathing, I feel well like time's rolling. Walking this bitch with a sound, I don't wanna let you rock it. I keep me a domino. Ay. Bitch, I'm a dip and I feel like a zaki. Stretching that pussy out like it's Pilates. I'm snatching the soul, I fight out of a body. Fire, I'm spitting, I feel well like Dobby. White bitch, blonde hair, looking like Lucy. She from Kyoshi, I paint her face suit.